Hi, Cancer. How are you? Okay, so we're going to do your um, What Are They Not Telling You? And the inspiration for this spread, this is an alarming spread. It's an original by me. And I thought about this spread because I know a lot of us are on Twin Flame Soulmate, uh, twin flame soulmate Journeys. And a lot of us are not in communication with our Twin Flame right now. We're feeling very anxious and we're feeling very sad because we're feeling like the connection is lost or the love is lost. We don't know what's going on with our twin and it's making us very anxious. And I feel like because of this anxiety, it, it keeps us from healing and moving forward uh, towards our goals or towards just healing so that we can be, come back into union with our twin. And the more you have resentment and the more you're bitter, it prolongs the reunion of you and your twin flame, okay? So you both have to separate, heal, and then come back together. But I feel like if we know what's going on, if we know more about what's going on in our twin flame's lives, it allows us to heal, allows us to take a, you know, an exhale, like, okay, I know what's going on with them. I don't have to jump to conclusions. I don't have to assume shit. I know exactly what's going on, okay? So this is why I made this spread. So let's see what's going on with your twin, okay, Cancer? If this doesn't um, resonate with you, please check your rising and or moon sign, okay? Also, please like and subscribe, okay? I want to know that these videos are helping you guys, all right? So let's see what's going on with your twin, Cancer. So in your twin's headspace, we have the nine, the king of pentacles. So your twin is really focused on money. Like they're really focused on their coins. I feel like um, your twin cancer is someone who's very stable, someone who's very practical, someone who's very routine, pragmatic, down to earth. Uh, this is death. This is Taurus energy as well. Um, this is someone who uh like has the Midas touch whatever they touch turns to gold right so they're really they're really focused on money in their headspace right now okay so in their heart space they have the king of swords wow this person is cold um cancer your twin is like kind of cold i'm seeing like some air energy here so i feel like in their in their heart space they're feeling kind of cold they're just they're like ah, they like they don't have a heart cancer my god they're like their heart space is the king of swords. I feel like, okay, so hear me out. Don't get upset, okay? This is just, I'm just, this is just what's coming to me. I feel like in their heart space, they're thinking about an air sign, okay? That's just one scenario. That's just one scenario, okay? Or I feel like in their heart state, in their heart space, they're just wanting to be honest. They just want the truth. They just want truth and clarity about a situation. They want to be, they're being, they're, they're being very logical in their heart space. You're dealing with someone who's very logical, very down to earth, someone who's very practical. Um, let's see what else is going on with them, Cancer. I feel like you're dealing with someone who's very emotionally detached, which is not good for you at all. Okay, so let's see what's going on in their work environment. We have the Four of Swords. So I feel like they're taking a break from work. Maybe they're on vacation from work right now. Okay, so and in their home environment, they have the Star. So Cancer, your twin is like, I'm, okay, your twin is someone, I see why you like this person. This person is very logical, very honest. This person in their home environment, they're the star. So they're doing, they're feeling very good in their home environment. They're healing at home. They're, I feel like the person you're dealing with Cancer, this is someone who does like at home healing. Maybe they do like Reiki or they do like candle healing or they use sage or I feel like someone that, whoever you're dealing with Cancer, this person is very spiritual and they are definitely healing. They're going through a healing process and they're feeling really good. They're feeling like the star. I feel like at home, um, I feel like you're dealing with someone who's very popular as well. This is the star card. This is also Aquarius energy. Um, you're dealing with someone who's very popular. Maybe this person is very popular at that home, popular at their home. Okay, and I feel like because the um, I feel like because the four of swords here is in their work environment. I feel like maybe this person works from home. Okay, I feel like they don't have the traditional job. I feel like they're taking a break from traditional jobs. Or they're taking a break from work or working for someone. Um, because they're working from home. I'm just getting mad. That's just one scenario, okay? But um, for others of you, your twin is taking a break from work. They're they're resting. They are uh, maybe they're on vacation or they're you know they're switching jobs or in between jobs right now. So that's what's going on. Let's see why the King of Pentacles is in their headspace. Oh, wow, that card just oh my god, really? I'm sorry, Cancer. 
Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles here with the Five of Swords. So in their headspace, I see that they're very focused on their money, but they're also having a lot of mental conflict. Um, I feel like this person is dealing with a lot of pride. They're, this person that you're dealing with, they are Cancer. They're kind of petty. They, um, they're very prideful. They're like the type of person that likes to win just to be winning, okay? Um... But I see they're very much focused on their money. And I feel like this person that you're dealing with, Cancer, I feel like this person, your twin, I feel like they would they would like do anything for money. Like they're they're kind of money hungry. Okay. And I feel like they're willing to do anything to, you know, for money, because this is their headspace. So I don't know who you're dealing with. I don't know who your twin is, Cancer, but I don't know. I feel like they're a kind. I feel like they're a little shady. I feel like they're a shady character. Okay, um, what's going on in their hearts? Okay, we have the queen, the king of swords. Or either the person you're dealing with is being very cold um, with you, very being very emotionally detached with you in their heart. They're either either this is how they're being with you, or this is how they are. Pair. They're just very emotionally detached, very logical, head over heart type of person. Or they could be just thinking about an air sign. That's just. Uh, that's just the theory okay like don't bite my head off all right um so clarifying that is the justice card um in reverse um okay so this is the card of libra and so again cancer i feel like maybe your twin is thinking about a libra like not thinking about but i feel like uh this is just for some of you um your twin could have a libra in their heart like they're um in their heart space, there's a, they're, you know, like they're yearning for a Libra or, um, also to this, I feel like, um, this is just, that's just some of you, but for others of you, uh, Cancer, I feel like your twin in their heart, they're feeling very detached because they feel like something was done to them, done to them very unjust. I feel like they, in their heart, they feel like they were treated very unfairly. And because of this, they're being very cold. Um, they're being very cold and very detached because I feel like something happened. Maybe this could be something that happened in court. Maybe um, something didn't go in their favor regarding a case or regarding some legal issues. And I feel like they're being cold. I also feel like they're they're failing to take responsibility for their actions. They're failing to take responsibility for what they did. Um, I feel like they... I feel like they don't really feel like they're responsible for anything. I feel like they treated you unfairly or something was done to them unfairly and they're they're not like taking responsibility for it. This person is being very cold. Like, you know, like I didn't do anything wrong. I'm the king of swords, you know, like so I feel like this person is either like not looking at themselves what they did. They're not um, you know, taking responsibility for their actions in their heart or they're feeling like very, very cold and icy because they feel like there was some injustice done to them, right? And they're still thinking about it. So that's why their mind is really just on their money. Like they're just they're just trying to get money by any means. Um, not sure what they're doing to get that money, but they're definitely like on some shady shit. All right. So in their work environment, we have the four swords, uh, and that's um that's clarified by the four pentacles is we have two fours here so you may want to look up 44 i feel like um cancer 44 in the numerology means master healer so i feel like maybe in their work environment they're healing people okay maybe they're taking a break um they're taking a break from normal work because they're working on like healing people they're working on like what's valuable to them they're holding on to their values and you know um you know the things that they they hold dear and they find important so i feel like they're taking a break um from work because they're holding on to something they're holding back or i don't know but they are taking they're taking a break from work okay So I would definitely look up a 44 though. I feel like they're taking, they might be taking a break from work to do something that's like more non-traditional, like heal people because you do have that 44 there, which equals eight. This person is thinking about money a lot. That's, I'm seeing a lot of money here. Um, so in their home environment, um, they have the star card and it's clarified by the fool. So I feel like this person is healing, but I also feel like they're, they're afraid of change. And they're afraid to take a risk. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, this person that you guys are dealing with cancer, I feel like this person is shady. Like, I feel like they're a shady individual. 
And I feel like they're really putting on a front. I feel like maybe this you might see this person and like they're smiling and stuff on Facebook or they're looking all happy and shit. But really in real life, they're afraid of change and they're afraid to take a risk. You know what I'm saying? They're afraid of the unknown. Like, and I feel like, yes, they're healing in their home environment, but at the same time, they're afraid to take a risk. Like if they if there's a situation where they have to move, they're not willing to do that. And they're afraid of the unknown. Something something at home they're afraid to take a risk with. Maybe this is a move or um, let's get one more card to clarify that fool because I'm not understanding how can you be like afraid to take a risk at home. But when I see the fool, I always think of two balls and a cane. This is like the initiation because you see he has two balls and a cane. That to me, that's like the phallic symbol. I don't know why I just thought of that. But I feel like um, maybe in their home environment, they, they're, they like, they're not having, they're coming off like the star, but they're really like have no courage. You know, like they have no balls and no cane type of thing. <laughs> so let's get, okay. So yeah, um, I feel like, okay, so we have the devil card, major, three major arcanas. Like, okay, so I feel like this person is afraid to take a, uh, they're afraid of the unknown. And I also feel like they're, they're in their home environment. There's a lot of unhealthy codependency attachments. Um, but this is this is things that they choose to be attached to. Like the, the devil card is like something that you choose. You choose these unhealthy attachments. You choose this codependency. You choose to do this shit. So I feel like um, your twin is unwilling to take a risk or they're unwilling to move forward because they're, they're not knowing what they're getting themselves into. And like they feel like they don't want to move towards codependency. They don't want to move towards unhealthy relationships. And or I feel like this is a situation that they're in in their home environment. There's a lot of codependency. Like maybe they live at home with their mother. Okay, maybe they're or maybe they're living like subpar or they're living somewhere where they're not happy or they're living like and like non like their living conditions are not good, but they're afraid to move on because they're like they're stuck there. Like they're they're attached to their home environment. They're afraid to move forward. Like they're afraid to they're they're afraid to step out and take a risk. Because I, I feel like maybe it's comfortable for them. It's They're in a comfortable home environment. And this is causing them to be like to be afraid to step out on their own two feet and do shit for themselves. Because they have an unhealthy attachment to their home environment. Maybe they're like a mama's boy or daddy's girl or something like that. Okay, so Cancer, I really hope this helps you understand your twin a little bit better and what's going on with them. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.